our statement from the Federation of National Youth Organizations. We, the member organizations of the Federation of National Youth Organizations, or the FNYO, a network of national Catholic youth groups and movements recognized by the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, Episcopal Division of Youth, announced our united stance for life, hence in solidarity, denounced the anti-life component of the reproductive health bill. The Philippines is rich. It is the corruption in government that makes the country poor. Hence, we in FNYO stand that RH Bill is not the solution for poverty alleviation. The RH Bill supporters relate the issue of poverty to overpopulation. We believe otherwise. How can the passing of RH Bill be a solution to this problem? Instead of funding efforts to pass such a bill, the government should direct the funds to the poor. We cannot understand why even the funds for them should be pocketed by corrupt legislators. The government should continue exploring possibilities of partnership with the private sector in providing equal opportunities for our people, like work and livelihood programs, helping them to stand on their own and uplift them from their miserable condition. Strong family values as a people and a culture is one, of, one good character of Filipinos. Hence, we stand that RH Bill is a threat to this dream. Faced with the fast-changing generation, the Filipino families remain to be conservative. The high regard and respect to parents as its first teachers to their children is a fact that influences the strong family ties. Efforts then on how to educate children about sex and sexuality should start at home and should be done by parents. There are no better teachers of life than responsible parents at home. Then the spot programs to educate parents because sex education to pupils in grade 5 up to students in high school is a threat to the Filipino families at large that will create more problems than solutions. All that prevents life are violations of human right to life and dignity. Hence, we stand that RH Bill, which promotes contraceptives, is a violation of human life and dignity. The RH Bill hides its full support and promotion of the use of contraceptives by advocating the so-called women's right to choose. Who chooses life? Who decides for life? The women should be empowered by educating them with the effects of these contraceptives. Many studies have proven the side effects of contraceptives that even resulted to deaths among women. Besides failure to prevent pregnancy, contraceptives have caused more serious threat to women's reproductive health. Contraceptives are abortifacients that prevent life. Let us not turn the women's life-bearing womb into a useless tomb. The Philippines is a Christian nation. Hence, we in FNYO stand that RH Bill, which promotes free choice, demoralizes our Christian values and beliefs. Recent surveys and studies show that more and more young people engage in premarital sex. Studies of sex-related crimes among teenagers which include sexual abuse, gambling, and sex sexting also increases. The rate of men getting into extramarital sex also goes up. This also means that the incidence of infidelity increases, which results to separation and break up, broken families, unwanted pregnancies, etc. This must be results of safe sex culture that the use of condoms promote. Making contraceptives accessible allows people, especially the youth, to use them to their own measurable advantage. These and a lot more are expressions saying which with condoms and pills, it is okay to have sex with anyone, anytime, anywhere. With condoms are for safety and protection. Cases of HIV AIDS also has increased in the Philippines. Free choice is not a Christian value. Being free to choose life is Christian. That is what the Lord Jesus Christ did for us. He died on the cross, so we will have life. The FNYO speaks for the Filipino Catholic youth 
the youth who are not only the hope of the future, but the hope of today. And so today we announce our United Stands for Life and in solidarity denounce the anti-life component of the reproductive health bill. Yes to life, no to RH bill. We stand. <laughs>